In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys a rec player, well, myself, solo rec player. You guys already know, if you guys don't know, I love playing solo rec by myself. So I'm going to head to the park for the first time in a long time. The last time I played the park was when I was grinding to get the juice perk. And ever since then, your boys never returned to the park. But it's almost the end of 2k, you know, I was like, you know what, let me just go hop on with some park random, you know, for the, for the end of the game. Uh, obviously, I went to the, my court first, Vipers. And the first game was actually pretty decent, you know. I ended up playing this guy, you guys will see. But, you know, the park is very, very interesting. You know, I played a couple of games, you guys don't worry. You know, <laughs> there is the good, the bad, and everything else um, in between. But the park is very interesting. I'm not going to lie. I actually had a lot of fun playing the park game. Y'all can see my random, for some reason, he's a gold level. I don't know why he was on the court by himself. That was very, very, very strange. But the first game went according to plan. I couldn't have planned it better. You know, my first park game in a long time and you guys will see oh by the way if you guys are wondering what build i'm using i am using my 611 build i will leave the link to this build in the description a lot of people always tend to ask me what's the tallest height you should make for like a center you know for the park and i always recommend 611 seven foot being the absolute maximum just because you have a, a lot more versatility you can move around a lot better but obviously we didn't start the game off the best um obviously we're doing our thing right here but uh, yeah the park is fun you can see even the even the court and everything else the greenery the space it just looks a lot better than what i'm used to in the wreck the wreck is so plain and so boring I, maybe it's the, it's the same feeling if i keep playing the park a lot but Never the mind, look, we're back again, bro. Listen, it's my first possession with the ball. This guy's kind of sagging off. They keep forgetting, bro. This build can shoot, bro. This build can shoot. And the other thing I was going to say as well, I mean, next time I do this gameplay, I'm going to do the in-game commentary because the in-game commentary for me is actually hilarious, bro. It's actually way better than kind of speaking over it. But obviously, it's my first time playing Park in a long time. So I just wanted to you know, have a quick catch up and kind of remind people Like I used to play Park a lot in 2K19. 2K19 was my thing. We all can see that the random was doing his thing. The random was doing this thing. I definitely wasn't too mad. Again, this first game went according to plan i could not script this any better for me y'all can see i'm just going crazy we're still hitting them with the post hop shot so the post hop shot clearly works in a 5v5 and obviously when you play the park there's a lot of space for you to work with so you can definitely you know use that and also for you guys that don't know 2k24 you know they're saying the mid range is going to be buffed and you guys already know i'm happy about that I'm happy about that because I love taking the midi. I love taking the post hop shot. That's my favorite shot to take in the game. Um, you know, in my opinion, just specialize in one thing, bro. If you if the post hop shot is your thing, you keep doing that. Right here, you know, the randoms got a shot crane takeover. I want I want to let him cook up a bit, you know. I saw up, you know, get some ankles or whatever. Obviously, he missed it for some reason. But like, we're back in defense. And like I said, I play park a lot. I used to play park a lot in 2K19 with one of my friends. Uh, and we literally just stayed there all day, every single day. But right here, look, we're hitting them with the, what, my slash and takeover. The slash and takeover on this build makes this build a lot more deadlier than it should be. But we're going crazy, man. We are definitely going crazy. This was a, a fun experience for me. Y'all can see again, I got that stuff smacked out of bounds, bro. I got that stuff smacked out of bounds. I don't know how 2k with my slash and takeover is not going to give me that. But anyways, I wasn't trying to be a sellout here. You know, this guy was clearly playing well and i wasn't trying to sell him out but he's got a shot crane take over so i'm trying to work him right here. i sent him some big bodies um yeah the 611 is actually very versatile for the park as well that's the thing i was gonna say you, you're able to play the one not the one actually oh, what the am i talking about you're able to play the twos with it and you're able to play the like the center in a 3v3 because you're very light on your feet if you guys see the build you guys will know what i'm talking about this build does have 80 speed and um, you get good contest y'all can see you can get a good contest underneath the paint so when guys trying to paint mash it ain't gonna work right here bro i'm trying to end the game with my slashing takeover ticket trying to finesse your boy bro ticket trying to finesse your boy like the slashing takeover wasn't really slashing this game for some reason this guy got the rebound and went back up i was like bro i'm trying to <laughs> i ain't trying to sell the random on my first game my first ever part game i was trying to get this dub i'm trying to catch this big w um but yeah, I mean, what do you guys think about the park in comparison to the rec? I mean, it's it's such a different play style. Um, and one of the things I was surprised about was the fact that I actually had a lot of fun. You know, I didn't think the park was going to be so fun. I think my new play style where I, you know, I constantly like to have the ball in my hands and I like to score the ball a lot now. And I feel like when you play the park, you get a lot of up or you, you don't really get too many opportunities if, if you play against a really good team. But you get to have the ball in your hands quite a lot. And you can do it a lot of things. But anyways... After that first game, I couldn't get a game, so I, I went around, and the beast of the East Court, uh, bro, I don't know what you guys are doing, bro. These guys are still sweating the park this late in the year, so I, I think the beast of the the beast of the East, whatever it's called, you're probably the park sweats, bro. Even I came to this park too, 
And y'all can see there was nothing there either, bro. There was nothing there. I'm, I'm running around. I'm trying to figure out, okay, where is the game right here? I could not find a game. I looked around. I was like, hell no, bro. Nah, this is too long. I ain't going to stay around there, bro. Like, I even tried to get a game in this lobby, but it wasn't working. So we ended up going to... Where is this? What what park is this? I don't. That's how you know I don't even play park. I've been playing this game the entire year. I don't even know who. I think this is the north side, I believe, uh, or the knights or something. But we ended up hopping over this random. Now this was a big fat L. We took the biggest L in this game, bro. We took the biggest L. Y'all can see I I didn't even check the stats. I'm not trying to look at my player. Can, I just hopped on the spot. That was the only available spot. And for some reason, the guy I'm playing in this game is a 60 overall. Oh my god, a 60 overall brown shirt. And uh, yeah, you guys will see exactly what happened <laughs> in this game. Uh, it, whatever you're thinking, that's exactly how it happened. But like I said, it's the good, the bad. I was just trying to experience it. But either way, it was fun. Everything was smooth. The gameplay was definitely smoother than playing the wreck. I don't know why that is. Um, even though there are more people in the park, the courts look nice. Y'all can see the different feel. Now, some of you guys have played park the entire year. Y'all probably aren't as like, uh, what's the court? You, you guys probably aren't as you know bothered about this because you guys have seen it the entire year. But for someone like me, where all I'm used to is the brown basic wreck wood, bro. Pause. But because I'm so used to just the plain wreck court the entire year, it's so it's so refreshing just to come out here and get a bit of color, a bit of fun. But yeah, this guy was just getting cooked up. This 60 over, I mean, there's nothing we could do, bro. There was nothing we could do. I mean, I could not carry this guy. I, I was trying to get the ball back, to, you know, maybe to, for us to get some, some chance, some opportunity. But yeah, these guys are just clearly sweating. I think they were both running two six nines. I was just like, bro, this is crazy. Even at this point, I was like, let me just try and help and leave my guy wide open. Maybe he's going to miss. Yeah, he wasn't missing, bro. He wasn't missing. This was a crazy game. Like, I was just like, bro, what is this? They were hitting shots. The, the, the brown shirt isn't even playing no defense. And again, I wasn't trying to sweat the... Look, I don't really care about my park record. I don't really care about my record in general. But, you know, it wasn't... We got skunked 22-0. and 0. I mean, I wasn't even guarding the ball. So, I left that park. Well, I left that court. And I hopped on in this court. And you guys would think it's going to be better. But no, we're actually going to get matched up with a 65 overall this game. And to be fair, he definitely was not as bad as the other guy. The other guy was terrible. Y'all can see his defense doesn't exist. Um... This guy over right here, he's a 65 overall, and he played pretty all right. You're going to see, we went on a little streak, you know. <laughs> we went on a little streak with this guy. He was playing a bit of defense. It was an interesting game for me. But, yeah, like I said, the park is actually quite interesting. Um, so, for me, it, it is kind of getting a bit tricky now because I'm trying to make a center build. But at the same time, I'm starting to think, well, I, can't, I don't know if I want to make a center build because what if I want to play the park? You know what I'm trying to say? And right now, your boy, I'm not trying to pay 2K, bro. I ain't trying to pay 2K, but that's the problem with the, with the build system as well. Is like there's so much, so many options that people eventually are going to get tempted to make multiple builds. But y'all can see, we finally get a stop. The random 65 overall trying to give it to me right here. I give it right back to him to see if he's going to hit a shot. You guys already know you're making that. You guys already know he's not making that, but we're gonna we're gonna skip all the bricks. Okay, we're trying to keep this game interesting, keep it fun. And right here, I was not trying to sell the random, but I missed, bro. Y'all can see that I missed. I was like, bro, I can't be the sellout in this game. We finally got the ball, fear. We need to capitalize on this, bro. But this was fun. It was a fun gameplay for me. I had so many fun. Like, look at this. Now it's time to cook up. Now I was like, bro, okay, I, I have no park animations. That's how you know this. I don't play park, bro. I should have bought some park dunks. You know, go crazy, go flashy on this build. Bear in mind, I do have a 93 driving dunk. And this random, I don't know what he did, bro. This is not the first and the last time he's going to do that. He just threw the ball out of bounds. I don't know what he was thinking. But this was crazy. It was a good game. Um, again, the park for me is very interesting. It's just like... It's a different feel to the game, bro. It's a different feel to the game. You guys already know, I love defense. I love defense. So the fact that I get to guard someone in a 1v1 situation makes the game a lot more interesting. So I'm um, heading to TK24. My build is just getting a little bit more trickier because here's the thing about the wreck. I play these park games and honestly, I had, I had one of the best times playing this game. The games are very quick. You know, you don't get too many AIs lagging out. I dropped this guy right here. Y'all can see. I wasn't even expecting that. That's the first time I think I've ever broken someone's ankle. I think that's a space crater, but I don't even know. But I broke that man's ankle, but that was crazy. Um, 
he was jumping right here. I was trying to hit with my, you know, my, my post up, but this random sold again. I, was, I thought I was going to get a contact dunk, but I didn't and end up going up with it. But at this point, I was like, listen, I'm just trying to get a win here, bro. I'm just trying to get a win. I might need to keep it basic and not go too crazy. I do have my slashing takeover, so I'm trying to use my slashing takeover as bait. But right here, you guys can see, bro. Oh, my God, bro. Set out fear, bro. Sell out fair, bro. I'm about to be selling these randoms, fam. This is like crazy to me. But anyways, we need to get back on defense. We need to get the ball. Like I said, I love the park because playing this one v one type, you know, style matchup is very, very good for me. I love playing defense. Um, and you know, your boy is not bad on offense either. So yeah, the park is definitely interesting. I mean, in comparison to the rec, again, the games are quicker. They're way better. Still hitting it with the post top. You all know what time it is, bro. You all know what time it is. I mean, when I was playing these games. I didn't think to edit this stuff is going to be so long. I mean, there's so much gameplay. Now now I understand why content creators go to the park instead. Because you can get so many content playing this stuff, bro. So many content. But obviously, park randoms are going to be park randoms. There's not much I could do right there. Um, but I was still trying to play defense for him. Baiting that guy. Um, gave it right back to the random right here. And he threw another turd over, bro. But hey, I wasn't mad, bro. I knew what I signed up for when I when I turned up on the court to play with this guy. But right now I'm switch I'm switch onto the the guard and the random came up with a clutch still. The random came up with a clutch still. So even though he's cold, he's a 65, you know, he was doing his thing. You know, shout out to him. Uh, he was definitely trying. Now it's a 1v1. Listen, like I said, I love the park. So you get this, you get a lot of these ISO situations. You know, there's no one helping. There's no one shading in the wreck. You know, like in the wreck, you don't have any space, bro. You don't have any space to work. You don't have guys running around you, just being irritating. Um, but once again, the random, I mean, I think he was trying to get his bucket, bro. He was trying to go off. He was trying to do something, but he wasn't able to. Now, their guard is also cold, so I realized that I went to help. He greened that, but we blocked his dunk. We blocked his dunk, bro. Like, I was having a lot of fun playing this stuff. Now, what is... For you guys, what do you guys prefer? What do you guys prefer? Do you guys prefer playing park? Do you guys prefer playing the rec? Do you guys prefer playing prem? Because for me, I think for next year... I'm trying to play all three. I'm trying to play Park, Rec, and pro -M. So I can't make a center build because if I make a center build, in my opinion, that is basically me committing to playing pro -M. And the issue with the pro sometimes is, you know, a lot of my friends, we say we're going to play pro and we don't really play as much as we should. And also, you know, sometimes 5v5, they do be kind of long. But um, again, I don't know what the build is going to be looking like. Um, it's going to be very, very interesting for me to see. I might end up making a small forward. I might end up making a center. It's definitely going to be either or. You know, I like being oversized or being... Um, I like a mismatch in my position. Look at me trying to sell, bro. Sell out fear. At this point, I was like, you know what? Nah, bro. I'm trying I'm, I'm trying too much. I'm trying too much. Let me hit with my with my post top and, and get the green and get out of there. There's no one helping. There's no shade. I have all the court to be able to do this stuff. It's so much more fun. So I think when I, if I start playing the park a lot more, another thing I think I'm, I might start doing... Is just taking a lot more creative shots. You know I'm trying to say, like, taking it, like, you know, you all know Tysino be going crazy in the park. And now I know, now I understand why he does that because you have so much space to work with. You can get creative, bro. Rather than just rim running every single possession, you know, you can do a lot of stuff with this stuff. But this game was quick, bro. This is going to be the last game that we ended up playing. We made this game quick. We were still with the same random, by the way. You can see it's the same 65 overall. Some guys hopped on. I was about to hop off, but at that hop turn, I was like, you know what, let me just play this game. And I was in my bag this game. So I don't know what happened to my matchup. I don't know if it's lagging out, controller switched off, but you already know, I ain't trying to miss. Now, you guys are probably wondering, Fear, what is your jump shot? What is your jump shot? The jump shot is O'Shea, Brissett, Bass, uh, Marquis, Chris, and David West. David West. Not the other David. I think there's another David or something. But David West, 62% David West on the blend. And that's what I'm using. I use that for my 611, and I also use that for my center. All my so 610 plus build. That's the uh, my, that's my favorite jumper. Y'all can see right here. My matchup. I don't know what happened to him, bro. He's probably just giving up. He's giving up, and I'm trying to give this random a dub, bro. So I mean, it, it's it's refreshing to see that you still have sellouts in the park. I don't know why people do this, uh, but now he's back. He's back, but it doesn't matter if he comes back. He's going to get cooked to that LeBron James. So having that 70 ball handle and that LeBron James step back, I wonder if 2K24 is going to kind of you know touch up on that because that's gonna be it's gonna be op guys are still gonna be spamming that so you know i'm definitely interested for, i'm definitely interested to play 2k24 because bro i've been waiting a long time bro you all know i'm bored when i stop playing rec to go to the park to go chill in the park and don't worry boys next time you know when i play the park it's definitely gonna be in-game commentary because the in-game commentary are way better like i watch a lot of park players that do in-game commentary i'm like why did they do in-game commentary but now i understand why because 
when you're in the moment those moments are so much more fun to get like live reactions and stuff but right let's we're playing defense bro we are playing defense bro look at that it's hustling getting back on defense and the random still trying look shout out to him he was still trying but once again bro i was just in my bag this game bro i was in my bag i was trying to hop off you y'all can tell i've got somewhere to be bro <laughs> i was like bro i'm trying to get the out of this park but listen the park was lit i'm not gonna lie i had a lot of fun playing the park now it just gave me a bit of a dilemma in terms of situation it's like okay what kind of build am i gonna make so i'm really gonna have to sit in that builder for a minute but worst case scenario if i have to sacrifice something i don't know what i want to sacrifice i may end up sacrificing defense which is one thing i do not want to do but i need to be able to slash and to be able to dunk you can see right there i need to be able to dunk and i need to be able to sit midi and so that does that basically means you know if there was one category i might have to leave out it may need to be de defense but i'm going to see what the build is like so i can't really you know say too much i don't i don't know i can't predict anything but we ended up getting that, you know, 65 over here and I'm leveling up, you know, carrying him. That My matchup for some reason was out of there. We didn't miss a single shot this game. But anyways, man, this is a long ass game. You know, it's, it's refreshing for me as a rec player to go to somewhere very, very different. Um, and that's why I'm hoping for, for rec this year. That's why I was complaining about the rec courts this year. It's because, bro, I just need to be able to see something different, bro. Seeing these colors on the ground, playing these game plays in the park, like, it, it is way, way, way more fun. Um... And I like the fact that the park games are a lot quicker as well. So you're not there just sort of wasting around. You know, you can end the games very quickly, move on to the next game. But yeah, I had a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. It is super long, but I definitely had a lot of fun. But yeah, I'll catch you in the next video.